Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And of course, we'll do Windows 10, but Windows 11 also with the storage and storage sense settings and Windows. And um, in Windows 11, of course, you have also settings to check out how much space you have on your hard drive and what takes all of that space. So first of all, how to know what takes the space that you actually have used on your hard drive. You might see, like I say all the time, that you go to the File Explorer and then you look at your um, your drive, like your C drive, and you're gonna say, well, you know, it's, it says that I've, you know, I've used, uh, in this case I've used, you know, I only have 162 gigabytes free out of 935. So it's like, you know, what is taking all of this space? Well. And Windows 11, once again, it's the same, pretty much the same as Windows 10. Right click on the start button, go into the settings, and here you will go into storage on the list. And here it's going to take a certain time to actually calculate all of it, and then you'll see what takes all the space. So, for example, in my case, what takes a lot of space, the installed apps. Why? Because I got some really big games in here. Then there's the documents folder that takes 240 gigabytes. So there's a lot of stuff in there that maybe I could clean. Uh, there's other and temporary and pictures and each has its own category. So when you could look at other and you click, you'll see that it's going to populate that other into other categories that you can actually look at. Um, depending on the hard drive that you have, it takes more or less time for each category to show up. So this is something to remember that on a magnetic hard drive, it'll take longer for the uh, information to pop up. But um, eventually you have all the information here. And that is the, uh, the rundown. You can, of course, click Show More Categories. And the more categories here, you will have, of course, a bigger rundown of every uh, you know spot that could take a lot of space. Um, somebody was asking me on Windows 10 why mail is showing up because if you're using a mail, the mail app or an aggregator for mail, you know, if you get a lot of emails that you keep with uh, attachments, for example, that could be and become very big quite fast. So that's why they're showing that as one of the apps and one of the things that's taking a lot of space. So, of course, here you have in more details the installed apps, the documents, other, system reserved. You have the temporary files. So here, temporary files, you got 35.7, which is a lot, which means I can clean that probably. Uh, there's pictures, music, other people. There's the OneDrive. You have maps. If you use maps, downloaded maps can take space. What's on the desktop? And, of course, uh, the videos folder and so on. So that tells you what you have used. And then, of course, actions can be done. And we're going to show you some of these actions using the storage and settings. And, uh, of course, the different options that you have, including in the next video, Storage Sense. Once again, that is also available on Windows 10 that I made a video yesterday. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.